All right, we good? You ready to build this thing? You got your protein? Check. Where's your dog dog? Is your dog dog back there? Yeah. <laughs> All right, what's up guys? Uh, my name is Daniel. Um, today kind of starts day one of our 2016 Ram 1500 Rebel uh, with the Ram box. And so today starts our day one of our Overland build. And uh, as many people know who have Rams with Ram boxes, there are no canopy solutions. Um, I think there's one company that did a custom one in Russia, but uh, that's not happening anytime soon. So uh, my brother-in-law, who's an engineer, uh, and I are gonna be attempting to manufacture one <laughs> over the next uh, year, but I needed a quicker solution um, to kind of do the majority of what I need to do and to secure my film and audio equipment as I'm uh, traveling around and um, doing jobs and, and everything that I do. So I picked up a Diamondback HD cover. Um, it was basically the most secure thing that I could find on online and after watching enough reviews, it seemed like it'd be a good fit to still utilize my truck bed but also secure all of my equipment. So this is the beginning of the build. There will be much, much more to come and hopefully, uh... oh yeah, are you excited? Yeah, she's got her gains. You ready to do this with daddy? All right, guys, let's do this. Okay, so we've got a few different things here uh, that came with the Diamondback cover. We have the Yakima Overhaul HD kit, um, some mini quick fist clamps. We have the rifle clamps for underneath the bed cover. We have the LED kit for the inside of the, uh, or the underneath of the Diamondback cover for the inside of the truck bed, and some other stuff that I also got along with it, as well as the bars for on top for a tent, which will be coming uh, in the next couple months as uh, I figure out which one that we want. We have two dogs, her, and uh, need to make sure that we have room for everybody inside. <laughs> oh yeah, you ready? Yes. Mm-hmm. All right, time to take off the stock tunnel cover. The stock tunnel cover only has two quick release clamps in the front and the back, so it was super easy to remove by myself. Trying to uh, unload this box with holding Nora in one hand was definitely interesting, but you just gotta do it. Goodness. Goodness. I was trying to figure out if I could actually lift that by myself while holding Nora. I put her in the box a couple times to see if she would just hang out, but she was not having it. She wanted to just be held, so took out what I could and waited till uh, Rosalind, my wife, got home and then handed Nora off. I feel the joy. Oh, I feel like a child with a brand new toy. The installation guide was definitely very thorough. Super, super easy to follow. And then it started raining. Thanks, Washington. So I had to bring everything inside my garage, shift the truck around, and just be okay with getting soaked, as you will see later in the video. So you're gonna need a crescent wrench, a socket, I believe it's seven, eight, and nine sixteen socket. And as you can see here, it's dumping rain. Stop me now if I'm talking too much. Cause I get so excited about the things I love. Yeah. So in hindsight, what I should have done, put the front lid on first and then the cab lid, but I didn't read the instructions all the way. 
so that's what you get. Putting these C-clamps on was super, super easy. Just takes a few minutes. Definitely having a light in your cab or in your bed helps a ton. I definitely advise putting these C-clamps on first, getting them finger tight, and then getting out of the truck like I did. Measuring and making sure that your Diamondback bed cover is even where you want it, then getting back in your bed and making sure everything's nice and tight and tightening it down. You will have to re-tighten these clamps after a couple hundred miles just to make sure that it's all secure after the bed cover has settled. I didn't have uh, something light to weigh my Diamondback cover down, so I grabbed a 150 pound D-ball and a 100 pound D-ball from my garage and, uh, and stuck it up on top, which worked really, really well. You could use dumbbells, you could use a kit, you could use kettlebells, you could use sandbags, whatever you want, but these just happen to work really, really well and I knew it was gonna be heavy enough. So, once those are on, you can adjust the lock rods, super easy. You're gonna need the Allen key that comes with. And since I'm adding the Overhaul HD bed rack by Yakima and a rooftop tent, um, I adjusted these so that it's not going to really open because I'm not going to be able to open the bed cover. Um, so I stuck it in the actual tracks on the side. If you want to open the bed cover and not um, have a rooftop tent above, you're not going to want to put the locking bars inside the track. You're going to want to put it just underneath the, the edge of the track because if you put them in the actual track like I did, if you try and open the bed cover, there's not enough travel for the locking bars to clear the lip of the track. All right, so it took me about two, two and a half hours by myself with the baby <laughs> to put this thing together. Super easy instructions. Um, a little bit more work than I thought it was going to be, but it is fully secured. Um, I'll have to tighten up those C-clamps in probably a couple days. Um, but that is super, super nice. Time to install the lighting, the toolbar, and some of the other stuff. Um, but I really like it, it's pretty cool. So now it's time to install the toolbar. As you can see here, um, it is getting ready to install. I'm going to flip up the cab, or the uh, tail section, and start marking and drilling holes. Would be nice if this was all pre-done or if there was like keyhole slots or key mod or some sort of like modular slot system. Um, so you didn't have to drill into this, but there's not. So this is what we gotta do. So definitely make sure to grab a Sharpie um, and a square and a tape measure to make sure that Everything is exactly where you want it before you start drilling into the bed cover because once you drill Then there's permanent holes, so make sure you have that um, Installing these equipment bars was super super easy. I just made sure everything was even where I wanted it So I got two of these Diamondback light strips to put underneath the bed cover on the tailgate side and the cab side Just to help illuminate whatever's inside my truck bed Okay, so for these lights, it needs to be over 50 degrees before we mount them. It's probably like 40 or so right now and it's wet, so I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to mount these in when it's warmer and when it's dry. Okay, so it is, uh, well, my watch died. It's, it's pretty late. Um, I got my quick fist grips attached and I did some other just fine tuning, which took a little bit longer, and then I went in and grabbed dinner and some other stuff, so it's dark right now. Just getting the pallet loaded and the uh, box that it came in loaded up, but this thing is pretty sweet. I will say though, I thought that the um, tie-down uh, hooks were gonna be steel, 
they are like ABS plastic or something. So I may end up switching those out in the future um, for just something that's a little bit more durable. Maybe that's intentional though, so that the plastic breaks before the aluminum. I'm not sure, but that was just something I noticed. And um, yeah, it was overall pretty sweet. Thanks for watching this video. My next video, you're gonna see the truck a little bit different. I'll have the overhaul HD rack installed and we'll be mounting my rooftop tent which will be awesome. The truck's starting to look a lot better. There's a lot of upgrades that need to happen and a lot more to be coming soon. So uh, make sure to subscribe. If you like this video or if it helped you at all, give it a like and watch out for the next one. Thanks guys.